Hi, this is AAP Internet Core MVC Learn and Practice Course. Today in this lesson, I will guide you how to send the email by using Gmail at MTP. Okay, so let's come back to the contact form we have learned in the previous lesson. After the user click on submit button to send the valid information to the server, so we should send a notification email to the admin. And then when the admin receives the notification via the email, so he will come to the system to get review the message and then give some feedback to the client. Okay, so in this lesson today, I will guide you step by step on how to write the code to handle the email sending. Let's get started. Let's open Visual Studio. And this is the contact form we have working on the, in the previous session. So now run it in the browser first. And here, this is the home page. And then click on contact link on the menu. And this is the contact form. So when the user click on the career button here to submit the form, after we receive the valid information, we will send a notification email to the admin. Let's come back to the Visual Studio. In order to send the email by using the MTP server, so we need to have some the library to support sending the email. Take a look into the solution explorer and select the project name and then Right click on the project. You select the menu Nougat packet. It will open up a window. In the Nougat window here, you click on the Pro button. In the Pro button, you type in the mail kit. Enter. And then in the search result, we have the mail kit. Select it. And then on the right hand side, Click on install button. There are some the version name. By default, it will select the latest stable version. In this case, if you want to install the older version, you can select it from the drop list here. And then click on install button to install the mail kit from the Nougat. Click on OK button here to get the confirmation for installation. The installation seems done, and then you close this window, save, and then you take a look into some the dependency packages, and you see here in the dependencies and inside the packages, we have a mail kit version E2.10.0, and come back to the controller. And in the controller here, I'm going to reference some library here. I've been using the mailkit.net.mtp using my, my kit. Okay. And because for now we are going to use the Gmail MTP, so we have to do some of the configuration in the Gmail to allow you using the Gmail for sending. Okay, so open the browser. In the browser here, you access into the Gmail. I will be using the gnv 248 email for sending. Yeah. And here in my Gmail, you click on the icon on the top. And then you click on manage the Google account. This is the Google account information. And then you click on the security tab on the left hand side. And then you scroll it down. You see we have a session like let secure app access. By default, it will be turned off. You should turn it on by clicking on the Turn On Access. 
it will direct you to another page where you are able to turn on the allow let security secure app turn it on so now after you quickly on the switch button the status will be changed from off to on that means for now we already enable the secure let it will have a notification email for you it says that we have some critical security alert skip it and then for now that means for now we have already enabled the less secure application asset mode for the account so we, you can use this account for sending email for now the last step you click on the setting button on the top right hand and click on select on setting in the quick setting dialog yeah in the setting page you click on the forwarding and pop email IMF. Let's go ahead to enable the IMF. Enable IMF. And then click on save change. Because I already enabled the IMF option, so we have no nothing change here. And then back to the Visual Studio. Let me close this one. Back to the Visual Studio. And so now navigate to the port action here let me delete the return JSON data because it is invalid for now i will have something like using writing the code here let me do some comment uh sending email using the email at MTP. Okay. For this one, you we have one client declare a variable and it will be equal as a new new at MTP client. And this is the sending email methods we have not done. And so now we need to provide the connect modes and then the authentication for the Gmail account for the connect to the NMTP server. So you can provide the name is nmtp.gmail.com. And for the authentic Ticket, you have to provide the email and password for the account GMBS. and then the password and so now let's run this form and click on the debug start without debugging it will open the web page click on contact and on the contact form so now let's try to find the information here 
ID for example is one name is chien viet after I click on the create button here if the coding for sending email is correct so it will send the message to this email that means the recipient email will be uh, dynamically click on create button you got a thank you for the query message. It seems the email sending is fine for now. Let me open my email and then we will double check the result. I'll set into gmail.com and you see here we have an email has just sent to my mailbox. The subject will be the new contact submitted data. And this is the information. The ID is one name, phone, email, and note. And then let me try to submit other contact. Zero two, name is Wu Chien. I will change other email chain note, be it at hotmail.com. Submit. Okay, open the hotmail for checking. Let me open. And you see here we have another email. With the ID is two, name, phone, email, and message. And I hope this lesson will be helpful for you. After you finish this lesson, you know how to use the NMTP server hosting on the Gmail to sending uh, an email notification to the admin. Let us some time for a break, and we will come back to learn other lesson. Bye-bye.